this is a true story. It's a liberating journey into the heart and soul of transforming conflict, into the heart and soul of peace. It's my story that includes living four years in Sierra Leone, West Africa, where I served with the Peace Corps in small remote bush villages with no electricity, no running water. People opened their homes and their hearts and I fell in love with my friends there as they taught me their ways about family, community, living close with the earth, and also how to live on less than a dollar a day and still find happiness in spite of hardships. But after I left Sierra Leone, the country fell into a chaotic, bloody civil war, fueled in part by the global economy, where blood diamonds and timber trade were used to buy AK-47s and other weapons. Both villages I lived in, Cagbury and Masongbo, were sacked. Some of my friends were killed. Some of the women were raped. Some of the children were taken as child soldiers. One of the villages, Masongbo, that I lived in was sacked by a rebel unit headed by a teenage boy named Colonel Rambo, who was trained in part by watching Rambo movies. I didn't know what to do, so I just threw myself into this ancient meditation, spiritual tradition, demanding peace, and then started to have these ecstatic experiences of love and joy. And it's like, my God, how can this exist side by side with children being used as weapons of war? So I dove deeper inward and with a mentor. And it wasn't easy going inward at times because of my reactions and the pain, and, but I did it. And I also got the chance to work on practical peace building missions back to Sierra Leone. I got back to the villages where I lived and I saw some of my friends who had lived through the war and there was this joy and this love with the reunion combined with sadness and pain of the stories combined with these peace builders, inspiring peace builders, bringing hope and inspiration to the country. And then I got to travel to other parts of Africa working with peace builders there and then up to Nepal and India and I started to see, my God, there's such a direct relationship between the spiritual and psychological way of healing and transforming inside and tapping into peace and love and joy that exists together with what's emerging around the world of healing societies, transforming conflict and helping create the conditions for a culture of peace from the inner to the international. This story is really for anyone who's ever questioned, is there hope in a time of crisis? Yes, there is. And if you're willing to do the work, both in yourself and in your family, in your community, there's a lot of hope. And there's lots of people who are giving rise to this, this inspiration around the world. So I would like to invite you to share this journey with me, this journey of hope and transformation. I would like for you to be able to meet my friends in Sierra Leone and other parts of Africa, Nepal, India, in the United States, and my family in Indiana. So I can share with you the tools and the lessons and the insights so you can see if they can help you find peace inside yourself or your family or communities, particularly during times of crisis. So I look forward to taking this journey with you. Thank you.